Did you ever buy one of these nice 12 by 12 photo albums and get it home and can't figure out how to take the thing apart? To start with, open the back of your photo album and you'll see you have the spine here. Ta-da! Open it up. And now you expose the screws. Simply unscrew the screws. You got your screws out. Lift off the back. Set it off on the side. Take the spine. And when you remove the spine back, you expose the pages. So take the pages off. And now take off the spine. And now you've got the folded edge of the front unfolded. And it reveals the post. So you'll take your post off. That's how you disconnect it to take the pages out. Okay? I've already filled my pages, so this is how you reassemble it. You put your post down. Fold the flap down. And over again, and it exposes your post. Take your spine, open it up, and just lay down one side of the spine. Now take your pages, and when you put your spine down, put the pages on top of the spine. Fold the spine over on top of the post. Take the back. So you're going to open it up flat. Lay this on top of the post. You're going to take the screws and screw them in place. And now you're done. Fold this back over. Fold it down. And now your photo album is done neatly. And if you look on the side, there's the spine that's enclosing your sheets. Now this is only going to cover 10 pages. So in my case, I needed 30 pages and I only have 10 in here. I went and I purchased an expander where you get 10 extra sheets of sheet protectors so I bought two packs and with each pack you get a spacer and you get these little extender posts that come with it so let me show you how we assemble those now that the photo album is taken apart these are the posts that came with the album and each of my 10 packs of extra pages came with a spacer and an extender. You're going to um, unscrew the extenders and you're going to take them and screw them into the post just like that. Now that we've got one extender on there this is just for 20 pages but like I said I needed 30 so we take the third extender and you're going to screw it in also. And now you have it for 30 pages. Each extender is about a half an inch in distance so that's about the thickness of 10 pages. We're going to do the same thing pretty much we did that we did before. You're going to take your post, you're going to insert them from the inside just like that. Fold the flap down and over again. Now it exposes the post to the inside. So now you're going to grab your spine. It gives you an A, B, and a C. And it tells you that A is for 1 inch, B is for inch and a half, and C is for 2 inch. I'm going to do a C, which is 2 inches, and that way I know I've got enough space. So here your instructions are to cut across the dotted line. So we're going to cut across the dotted line. Now I'm going to take my hole punch, and I'm going to punch... The hole in the C. So now I have my holes punched. Okay, now we got our post sticking up. You're going to take your spine. The purpose of the spine is to make the book look really nice finished and it'll look like it's a bound book. You're going to take your spine and place it over the post using the holes on the left side of the spine. Lay those down. You're now going to add 10 of your pages on top of the spine. Next, you're going to take one of the spacers that came with your extra pages and put the spacer down on top of that. Now you're going to add an additional 10 pages or add 10 more pages. 
and now that you got those 10 pages on there you're going to add your second spacer and now that you've got that second spacer added now you'll add your remaining 10 pages or my last 10 pages since mine is 30 pages so now that I've got my final 10 pages on here so you're going to take the spine and fold it over the post so now you're going to open up and place the back side on top of your post and then you'll take your screws and screw them down and as you can see I could still add another 10 pages on here because it's sticking up about a half an inch and then you'll fold this over and fold this back and now your album is professionalized now you see in between there you see all that extra space that's because I can add an additional 30 pages to this that's how you add pages to your photo album and that's how you take it apart I don't like these birds on this album but it was all that they had watch how I turned this into this yes